Hello everybody, Nevada Virtual Academy is working on one more problem. Mr. N trying to help you solve uh, this type of problem for the proficiency exam purpose, right? You know what, maybe proficiency exam, maybe credit by exam for some 8th graders, 7th graders. Maybe an SAT problem, probably a very easy SAT problem, ACT, any, uh, you know, math test that you have to take. 28. A secretary types 56 words in a minute. Which proportion shows the approximate number of words that she can type in one half of an hour? Okay. And now you have to be careful in here. Because this secretary types 56, 56 words per minute. Okay, so we have 56 words in a minute. And the question is asking you to find how many words she can type in half an hour. Okay, so I got 56 words per one minute. And I'm looking to find how many words, let's say X words, per half an hour. But half an hour needs to be changed into minutes, right? And if you guys are awake, you should know that in half an hour, there are 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm looking for how many words in 30 minutes, okay? Which proportion, so you have to find which proportion shows the approximate number of words that she can type in half an hour. And obviously, I have already found with you the proportion that I'm looking for, right? And my, I'm looking for a proportion that looks like, I'm looking that looks like, that is exactly the same with the one that we already have. 56 per one minute, right? Should equal how many words per 30 minutes? minutes. And that's the one that we should look for. What is the answer here? Well, A seems to be exactly the same proportion. And this is the way you guys solve a similar problem on the proficiency exam. Once again, and I know some of you may say, hey, you keep telling us this is a, you know, first grade problem, a third grade problem, fourth grade, eighth grade, seventh grade. And yes, yes, this is what it is, okay? The proficiency exam is not testing your, um, you know, proficiency to become a, um, you know, PhD uh, graduate, okay? It's just testing to see if you have the basic math knowledge. And that's what I'm telling you guys. At this point, juniors and seniors, you have it. You have the basic math knowledge required to graduate. But you have to show it. You have to show it by passing this test and by guessing, if not, you know, using your education and your knowledge so far, because that's not going to be any more like a, you know, plain, uh, natural guess, raw guessing, right? You're going to be an educated guess. You're going to get the right answer because you already know this. You just have to apply it. Just think, okay, stop, read, think, reason, solve, and you will be fine. This is it. Thank you.